Hey there, this is Nick from TSPRO. One of the most frequently asked questions we receive from our customers is why we anodize our sharpeners and components. In this video, let's find out what the anodizing process looks like and what we do it for. Let's get started. Why to anodize aluminum? The fact is that aluminum, like many metals, is susceptible to corrosion and quickly collapses when exposed to adverse factors without a protective coating. Immediately after machining, aluminum interacts with atmospheric oxygen and naturally it forms a barrier film which depends on external conditions. It forms on pure aluminum at room temperature, but it's amorphous, not crystalline, and that's why it's not a good protection against corrosion processes. In order to reliably protect aluminum and straighten its structure, it's necessary to create a crystalline oxide film on its surface with a thickness at least 20-30 microns. And for this purpose, anodizing is applied. In simple terms, anodizing, or so-called oxidation, is the method of metal processing which changes the chemistry of the surface which is being processed and creates additional membrane on this. Before we proceed to the anodizing process, we clean the aluminum surface from the impurities and remove the deepenings on the metal and oxide film. For this purpose, decreasing and chemical milling is applied. In this process, we use electrochemical or, in other words, industrial etching. It's made with the use of electric current carried out both at the cathode and at the anode. In the anodizing line, we have one decreasing bath and chemical milling baths. After chemical milling and washing, here comes electrochemical polishing process. After that, it goes through several washing baths to completely clean the surface from the remaining working solution. After polishing, here comes the process of whitening. The point is that metal has black residue, and the degree of this black residue depends on the purity of metal. The more components in the alloy, the lower the purity of the aluminum. Whitening is carried out with sulfuric acid with the addition of special additives. This is followed by the anodizing process, or in other words, creation of a protective crystal structure on the aluminum surface. This is the process of formation of highly porous oxide layers on the metal surface, and this process is also electrochemical. It forms two layers, a porous and a bare layer underneath. The bare layer is formed first. After it is formed, a porous crystalline structure is formed on its outer side. In the course of its formation, the barrier layer dissolves first, and then, with an increase of the current and temperature, the surface layer dissolves with the formation of a porous layer. As a result of anodizing procedure, a thick anode coating with pores of different sizes grows on the aluminum surface. And after that, finally, it comes to consolidation. Since the surface of the product became porous and soft, it becomes necessary to close the pores. This procedure is carried out by immersing the product in heated fresh water, either by steaming or using a specialized solution. However, if the product is planned to be subsequently painted, fixing is not required since the paint itself uh, fills the empty space in the pores. So for coloring, we use electrolytic staining method. This is obtaining first a colorist anode film and then continuing the process in an acidic solution of salts and some metals uh, like copper, manganese, tin, and so on. The color of the finished product is obtained from bronze to black. As a result, we give our sharpeners in some parts black anodized color. What does it all give? The main purpose of the anodizing procedure is to reduce metal's tendency to corrosion, improve the durability of the sharpener in its parts, as well as to improve the appearance of the metal product. After this kind of treatment, metal doesn't cheat and peel. The sharpener and its components serve longer, keeping its original look. But the final result depends not only the chemical compositions and observance in its production, but also on quality of the aluminum alloy used. In our production, we use components of high-quality 70-75-6 aircraft aluminum in accordance with ISO 9000 certification and come through quality control at every stage of production. I hope this video was helpful to you, and now it gives you a better understanding of the anodizing processes and what it is made for. So guys, leave your likes, leave your comments below, and of course, subscribe to our channel. 
Thank you for watching. Take care and stay sharp.